Hello and welcome to this course titled JavaScript for Developers. This course is an introduction to the JavaScript programming language. We'll look at what JavaScript is, what are some of the unique concepts and features of JavaScript, and how to write code using the JavaScript programming language. This course has a prerequisite. I'm going to assume that you have some familiarity with some other programming language, and JavaScript is not your first programming language. Hence the title of the course, JavaScript for Developers. I'm going to assume that you are familiar with one of those classical languages like C, C++, Java, C Sharp, Ruby, Python, or any of those kind of languages. Now, why am I doing that? Why is there a prerequisite for this language? The thing is, JavaScript comes from the C family of programming languages. Uh, so there's a bunch of languages which are uh, considered to be from the C family of programming languages. Uh, they all share the same origin as the C programming language. So, you know, languages like C++, Java, C Sharp. Uh, if you're familiar with one of those languages, you can easily pick up the syntax of the others in that family because they all share similar syntax. The way you would write a for loop or an if block or a switch statement, they're all the same across those languages. Uh, it turns out JavaScript is also from that family. So if you're familiar with a language like C++ or Java, the syntax of JavaScript will be familiar to you and you can you know, get comfortable with the syntax right away. So that's actually the reason why I'm assuming that knowledge. So for instance, I'm not gonna cover what a for loop is, but I will explain how a for loop in JavaScript is different from a for loop in a language like Java or C++. I'm not gonna talk about what objects are, but I'll tell you how objects in JavaScript are different from objects in Java. I hope you get the idea. So if you are completely new to programming, um, you may not get that value out of this course. Uh, you can still follow along, but um, you're probably not gonna follow along as well, and you're not gonna get your money back. All right, so let's get started. What are, what are we gonna cover in this course? At a high level, uh, this is JavaScript for developers like I just talked about. I'm gonna highlight some of the differences between JavaScript in some of these classical languages like C++, Java, and C Sharp. JavaScript is its own unique language, and there are a lot of different concepts in JavaScript that are either way different in those other languages or don't even exist in those other languages. So we're gonna cover some of those unique concepts in JavaScript. And uh, finally, I'm gonna talk about some of the resources that you need to consume in order to further your um, understanding of JavaScript as you go along this journey of learning the language, and also some next steps for you to take uh, in order to be better at the language. All right, so with that said, let's start unit one, an introduction to JavaScript. 